NASA has awarded a contract to Lockheed Martin to study the feasibility of building a hypersonic propulsion system for a concept intelligence. Surveillance and reconnaissance is called ISR aircraft dubbed the SR-72 using existing turbine engine technologies. The $892,292 contract provides for a barometric design study to establish the viability of a turbine-based combined cycle as called TVCC propulsion system consisting of integrating several combinations of near-term turbine engine solutions and a very low Mach ignition dual-mode ranjet is called DMRJ in the SR-72 vehicle concept. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works has confirmed that it is developing the SR-72 spy plane. The successor to the SR-71's Blackbird, which was capable of Mach 3.5, the SR-72's will be a hypersonic unmanned aircraft capable of Mach 6, or just over 4,500 miles per hour. At hypersonic speeds, the SR-72's will be able to traverse any continent in around an hour. Meaning. If they're strategically positioned around the world on aircraft carriers, the U.S. military can strike or surveil any location on Earth in about an hour. It is also suspected that the SR-72's hypersonic engine tech some kind of hybrid scramjet will find its way into the U.S. military's high-speed strike weapon is called HSSW, a missile that can theoretically strike anywhere on Earth in just a few minutes. The SR-71's, or Blackbird as you probably know it, was the pinnacle of the U.S. military's Cold War reconnaissance efforts. Introduced in 1966, the Blackbird, with its hybrid turbojet ranjet engines, was the fastest manned aircraft in the sky until it was retired in 1998. Despite being utterly massive 107 feet or 32 meters long with a 55 feet or 17 meter wingspan the SR-71s only had two crew and no weapons, it was loaded up with cameras, radio antennae, and other surveillance-oriented loadout. Due to high running costs and reallocation of funds towards other efforts such as UAVs, the SR-71s was retired after 32 years of active service. Of 32 aircraft that were built, 12 were lost in accidents, but none were ever shot down or captured by the enemy. The SR-72s, despite the similar name, is a completely new plane. At the moment, the SR-72s is still only a concept, though Lockheed has now confirmed that the plane is in active development. An optionally piloted scale version of the plane with a single engine will be built in 2018, with test flights scheduled for 2023. If all goes to plan but funding hasn't yet been secured by Lockheed Martin, a full-size SR-72s with about 100 feet long will be built and tested by 2030. As it stands, the current plan is for the SR-72s to be unmanned. It will be a very, very large drone. It will probably be unarmed, too, and outfitted entirely for intelligence gathering, though it's too early to say for sure. While the SR-72s will undoubtedly be a paragon of stealth and fashioned from monolithic crystals of titanium wrapped in carbon fiber, its defining feature is its operational speed of Mach 6. At this speed, the SR-72s can cross the Atlantic or Europe or China in about an hour or circumnavigate the planet in six hours. At an operational altitude of around 80,000 feet or 24,300 meters in Mach 6, the SR-72s will be almost impossible to shoot down. To reach Mach 6, some aeronautic magic needs to occur, otherwise we would have built a Mach 6 aircraft years ago. Basically, 
Turbofan engines like you would find in every big airliner are only really efficient up to around Mach 2.5. Ramjets can then take you to around Mach 4, but then they too lose their efficiency. To get to Mach 6, Lockheed Skunk Works Lab which has developed such luminaries as the U-2s, SR-71s, F-22s, and F-35s is working with Aerojet Rocketdyne to create a turbojet scramjet hybrid engine that uses a turbine at low speeds, and a supersonic combustion ramjet is called scramjet at higher speeds. Like the SR-71s, these engines will have the same inlet and nozzle, with some kind of mechanical system that shifts the airflow between the two portions of the engine as airspeed changes. Whereas a ramjet decelerates incoming air to some sonic speeds, a scramjet is supersonic throughout, allowing for much higher airspeeds. So no one knows quite how fast, but we're talking about at least Mach 10. Hypersonic aircraft, coupled with hypersonic missiles, could penetrate denied airspace and strike at nearly any location across a continent in less than an hour, said Brad Leland, program manager of hypersonics at Lockheed Martin. Speed is the next aviation advancement to counter emerging threats in the next several decades. The technology would be a game-changer in theater, similar to how stealth is changing the battle space today,